Hello, YouTube. All right, I have a new setup down here on this desk here, which you've, which has been privy to many videos in the past. I used to make videos over there. I used to have a Mac Mini that sat over here. And I used to sit right here and make videos. You might recognize the background there from those videos way back in the day. But anyway, um, I have a new computer set up here. Um, this Dell C521 was sitting here at one point years ago, back when I first had it, I think. Um, of course, it's been upgraded now. It's got an AMD Athlon X2, uh, 4800+, plus, 2.5 gigahertz processor, 3 gigabytes of RAM, a 9500 GT graphics card, and it has Windows XP again because for for one reason. The wireless card that I bought for this thing actually works in Windows XP. Um, <clears throat> in Windows 7, sometimes it just wouldn't connect at all. Uh, on Linux, the transfer speeds were terrible. Uh, so I figured what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave XP on here for the two years that it has left to be a supported operating system. And... Um, you know, just wait it out, and maybe, and hopefully in two years, the Linux uh, side of things will be better for the wireless stuff. There you have it. Um, so here's the whole setup. I got a Dell keyboard here. Dell keyboard that I actually got with the machine. Probably do with the cleaning. It's got some finger salsa on it. It's kind of nasty. My patriotic mouse pad, which is kind of falling apart. Looks kind of like the real Declaration of Independence. <laughs> this tiny little Logitech traveling mouse here. I love these mice. They're wonderful. Um, got a, this NEC AccuSync LCD uh, 71V. This is the second one of these I have. Unfortunately, it has a scratch down the side. So that's why I use it on this computer, because I don't really care that much. And in the computer itself, we got a DVD burner and a card reader. And there you have it. It's got a Linux sticker on it, even though it doesn't have Linux on it. I've got the Harman Kardon, this, this set of Harman Kardon speakers hooked up to it, you know, with that sub and everything. And it sounds pretty good. I have this old school webcam hooked up to it. It's a log it's the original Logitech Quick Cam, the original one that they put out. I bought this in 2005 and I've been using it for a long time. This thing actually survived a bad power supply, which is very surprising. There's an antenna I got off of eBay. <laughs> it's like a car antenna almost. Um, it's an absolute mess of wires back here. I should clean this up sometime. <laughs> so it just looks, it just, in general, it just looks bad. Um, but yeah, there's the video card in the back there. And got the sound hooked up into both the surround port, both the surround and the regular port right there. Since those speakers support it. There you go. Let's let's fire her up. I this setup here is basically for when friends come over so they have a computer to mess around on. And it has a powerful enough graphics card to do Steam stuff which is pretty nice I have to say runs Windows XP very well Windows XP actually does use the three gigs of RAM I put in there but it won't use much past like 3.25 or so on most computers so let's log in here I should probably put a password on this account Now, if you notice right there, the odd thing about the onboard sound in this computer is that it, uh, the pitch is slightly lower than it should be, at least on the Windows sounds it is. I don't know about everything else, but on the Windows sounds it definitely is, which I find a little odd. I don't know if anybody else has experienced that with certain onboard sound cards, but that's just strange. But here we are with Windows. And... the hard drive finishes loading everything. I'm using quote the V West Life theme. <laughs> uh, 
with these colors. I love, I absolutely love these colors here. It makes Windows look a hell, Windows XP's classic mode looks so much better. Not so much blue over here, which is nice. That little bit of red actually gives it a nice, it just looks nice. And there you have it, it just, it just looks nice. And let me get to the specs here. There we go. See, it detects all the three gigs of RAM there. Windows XP. Service Pack 3. There you go. And it runs pretty well. I just figured I'd show you guys the setup. There's not much to show here, but... Hell, it's a nice little setup down here, I think. I just think if I clean up those wires down in the back there, it'll be nice. Yeah, I can go on the internet and everything. Yeah, it's all hunky-dory. There's a microphone built into the webcam, so I can do TeamSpeak or Skype or whatever. And there you have it. It's also useful if you need to reinstall Windows on the computer behind you. So you can just, you know, screw around the internet while that happens. And, uh... Yeah, there you have it. It's not the most exciting thing in the world, but I figured I'd show it to you just because it's a it's a, a neat little computer setup. It's just nice to have one of these. It's the only XP machine I really have left that I even use anymore. So, there you go. That's my XP box now. This Dell Dimension C521. It'll probably be an XP box for a while, uh, at least until Linux gets their wireless stuff fixed, or I get a better wireless card for this thing which the latter might be the case eventually if I get fed up with it uh, or if I can find another uh, one of the wireless G ones I had for cheap either way I figured I'd show you guys this little setup I thought it was a nice little setup um, other than that have a good one everybody